Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Profit Minds podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Stephen Kirch, creator of the Profit Minds Growth System, a unique blend of profit growth, productivity acceleration, and building robust business process for scale. In every episode, I interview entrepreneurs and small business owners from around the world with a unique story to tell. You can find the show on YouTube, LinkedIn, Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and more. Well, hi, everyone. Today, my guest is Sentil Kumar, the founder of SEO with Sentil. And today we're going to talk about how to get your website found on Google Page One. Welcome, Sentil. Hi, Steve. I'm glad to be here on Prof on your Profit Minds podcast. Yeah. So, as you know, the first question I ask every one of my guests: Tell me your story. How did you get to be where you are and and what you do? How did you learn that? So um, it's a rather strange story. My dad, he surprised me with an unusual birthday gift. It was a three-day WordPress website creation and SEO course back when I was in university. And I went for this uh, program with an open mind. And after the um, end of the three days, the instructor, he forced us into groups and asked us to start our service-based website in Singapore. So me and my group, we started this cleaning services website. And um, over the next uh, three to four months, we intensely worked on the website itself. And um, within about the four month mark, we started ranking for our very first keyword on Google page one, which was office cleaning services, Singapore. And um, surprisingly, we also started getting inquiries and um, we even uh, got a uh, few sales. So we didn't offer the cleaning services ourselves. So we had, had to found, find a partner to provide it. And uh, even though we didn't proceed on with the business, it gave me the belief that SEO done effectively can bring in leads and sales for any business. So um, around that same period of time, I, I was in this minor in entrepreneurship program in my university where we were struggling to sell paper notebooks, customized paper notebooks. And um, uh, just when we were um, thinking whether, you know, to call it quits, one of my uh, founders, he, he told me, hey, why not we do bulk notebook printing, bulk t-shirt printing, and why not use SEO? Like, didn't you uh, learn search engine optimization in, in, in that uh, program, the course you went for? And um, so for the next one to two years, um, we pivoted our business to doing bulk printing for corporate organizations, for school clubs, and I um, delved into our website to optimize it for Google. And um, by the time I graduated from university, we were getting so many inquiries that we had to hire a team to help us handle the incoming leads through search engine optimization itself. So yeah, that's that's a brief <laughs> snapshot of wow. how I got started. That's that 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 that's interesting. So so it was sort of a you said it was a birthday present from your dad. So was yeah, this something yeah. that you were interested in doing, or just uh, uh, sort of mentioned in passing, or how did how did your father decide that that was a, an appropriate birthday gift? That's kind of unusual. So, so I think he sort of knew that I had a little bit of interest in entrepreneurship in business related uh, things uh, because I probably had mentioned to him that, you know, I am hoping to start a business or something of that sort. So he had went to like a free program and they had uh, promoted this online marketing. They had promoted search engine optimization as a, as a new online marketing strategy at that time. And, um, he uh, he thought that you know uh, me being young and and um, like open to learning new things, I, I would really be interested in in what this um, millionaire was teaching. So um, I uh, he he just signed me up for that program, and during a car ride, he he spoke to me and said, "Hey, you know, I, I stumbled upon this 
this online marketing program and, and I got it for you. And I was really skeptical. I was like, what? Online marketing program? You paid a few thousand dollars for it. Like, uh, but he said, you know what? Like, like uh, this guy um, has done it before and, and um, uh, I'm sure that you will learn good skills in, in this program. So uh, just go there with an open mind. That's all he told me. And, and that's what I did. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So, so what are the tools that uh, a, a small business owner needs to, to use to succeed in SEO? What are, what, what are the, what are those key factors that, that make it so that you rank at the, at the top? Is there some special? So, uh... So, Steve, are you re referring to the SEO tools or are you referring more to the values and, and, uh, that, well, so, that so how do you do it? I mean, how, what's the, what's the secret? I mean, I think everybody wants to do better to rank higher on SEO. So, so what, what is it that, because you've obviously been able to do this very, very successfully. What is, what is the special thing that you do that, that other people don't? So, I think the, the number one, uh, special thing that, a lot of business owners miss. Sometimes I even see SEO agencies completely missing is the fundamentals of ranking on Google. So for that, you need to put yourself in Google's shoes. Okay, imagine you are Google. Um, Steve, I would just uh, want you to play along. Sure. Um, do you know how Google makes money? Sure. From from the 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 ads, you know, people put the right so. On the um, ad, the, Google, yeah. Google ads, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, that, that's exactly um, it. So one of Google's main revenue g generator is these Google uh, sponsored ads. So if you are Google and you want to make more money from sponsored advertisements, sponsored Google ads, then what do you need? Well, you need businesses that are willing to pay per click. Yeah, right? but. Um, why would businesses be willing to pay per click before well, businesses uh, pay? You need before businesses pay. You need well. You need you. You 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 need a you need a website. You need a service. You need something that people can find, right? A search term or no no. What what does Google need? Like what before, does Google? What does Google need? Like uh, so before business businesses will come to Google to to pay for ads. What does Google need? Well, they need lots of people going to their website to. Exactly. Exactly. Right? <laughs> that, that was like what I was looking for. Actually, they, yeah, they need yeah. a lot of users. And they need users spending more time on Google. Right. Yeah. So they need they need users to trust Google to spend more time on Google. Whenever they have questions, they need users to come onto Google. So now that we understand what Google needs to grow their revenue, then how do you think? Google will choose content to rank on Google page one organically. Well, it, it, it'll be that what people are searching for. They'll be, be what, right? So, yeah, so, so you the, type in a search string and, right? So. It, yep, yep, yep. So firstly, uh, exactly as you said, Google needs to show relevant content, but there are thousands of websites that can show relevant content. So what Google wants to, to get more users searching on Google is Google's goal is to show the most engaging content, the most relevant content and content that the person searching for that keyword on Google, when he finds it, he goes, wow, this is exactly what I wanted. This right. website has everything I need. So I often tell my clients that Google is looking for outstanding content that um, users love and not just mediocre content that, that is relevant because anyone can write a mediocre piece of content that, that, is, that meets the search term. So this is one area that um, a lot of uh, small businesses miss because they focus on the, the, the other steps of search engine optimization. They, they look into making their website better, to load faster. Some of them, they, they think that, oh, they don't have enough backlinks. But then the fundamental is that they need to have that outstanding piece of content that meets the psychology of the person searching for that keyword and that impresses the person searching for that keyword. Okay. 
So, so then, then what, what, what is it, what is it that you do then to optimize for, for SEO? You've got, I think you have like a five-step system. Exactly. So the five-step system, the very first step is um, what I shared with you a little about, about here, which is to understand the fundamentals. And then the second step is what you mentioned about the keywords, where you need to find keywords that people are searching for and check the keyword demand. So you need to check how many people are searching for this keyword. Because if you you write a content around a certain keyword and nobody is searching for it, then, then there's no point writing a content right. around it. Um, and then the second thing you need to check is the competition for the keyword. So there are keywords that you can start off with, especially if you're beginning in SEO, that have way less competition. So once you win in these less competitive keywords, then you can rank for the more competitive keywords. And the final thing is having a balance between educational keywords and also trying to rank for profitable keywords. So one example I can give is um, I was in the t-shirt printing niche before. So if someone is searching for t-shirt printing methods, or why do I need to print t-shirts or, or something of that sort, then they are probably just looking to, to get educated. They are looking for more information on that topic, but perhaps that they are not inclined to buy or print their t-shirts yet. Whereas if someone is searching for t-shirt printing in Singapore or t-shirt printing companies in Singapore, then they are a lot more likely to, to buy or, or engage in that service. So the, the profitability intent of that keyword is stronger, that the, the buying intent of them searching for that keyword is stronger. So the, this is the second step, looking into keywords, finding keywords that have a significant demand, that do not have too much competition, and that are profitable as well. So this is the second step of the five-step process. Okay. And, and the third step is, um, of course, what, what I mentioned, which is creating that outstanding piece of content. So using the keywords, you come up with article topics that make you differentiate from your competition, that will interest your target audience, and you write that outstanding piece of content. And then the fourth step is to make tweaks on your own website to, to improve the user experience and to help it to rank better. So um, Google has many best practices. Like one, one example that uh, Google has is Google wants your website to, to be mobile optimized, meaning it loads um, well on any uh, size device. And, and the great thing is that um, if you use a website builder platform like, like WordPress or Squarespace, um, many of them already have these features inbuilt inside of them. Um, another uh, tweak that some websites may need to make is to help their websites to load faster. So um, just like this, there are many tweaks that you need to learn and understand that you can make on your website in line with Google's best practices. So this is step four, making tweaks. And it's called on-page optimization, but <laughs> I try not to <laughs> overwhelm uh, yeah. people listening uh, here. So um, I'm going to just call it tweaks on your own website. And then the fifth step, is to attract backlinks uh, or build backlinks from other websites to your own website. So w this is basically referrals, right? I refer to them as referrals because um, the more um, people point to you, of course, the quality of your referrals are going to matter. If you don't want like any random website with no quality, if it points to you, it's not going to add value to your Google uh, rankings or your, your authority, right? So you need to get other good quality websites, other websites relevant to the niche you are in to be pointing to you, especially. So when you can do this, then Google uh, uh, senses that your website has that credibility because other good websites are pointing to you. So you are also probably cr credible. So these are the five steps of SEO summarized, right? So, so step, okay. step one, understand fundamentals. Step two, do your keyword research. Step three, write that outstanding content. 
step four, make tweaks on your website. And step five, get backlinks from other websites pointing to your website. So, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that last step. Do I then, mm -hmm. am I supposed to go to my competitors and get them to put stuff on their website to, uh, no, to, no. um, so how do I, how do I find relevant websites and get those websites to point to mine? So um, there are many ways to do this. In fact, there are 11 link building strategies out there. So <laughs> I'm just going to touch on like maybe one or two right now. So um, one link, link building strategy is to create um, uh, assets on your own uh, blog article. For example, maybe you create an infographic related to your topic. So um, one, one example, um, do you want to just give me a, a topic? Uh, oh, okay. Why not? I, I use the real estate industry because one okay. of my clients, he's in the real estate industry and um, he just ranked for a keyword. So he was um, writing an article around um, real estate uh, cond condominiums. So the, the type of uh, house um, that he okay. was trying to sell. So he, he was trying to sell condominiums in an, in an estate called Tampines in Singapore. So um, we, we checked and, and this had a lot of uh, keyword search. I mean, it had a decent number of people searching for that keyword. The competition was um, um, relevant. And so he wrote that outstanding piece of content. So I, I told him, why not you create an infographic to show people the uh, cost of different um, condominiums in, in, in that estate uh, in, in an image format so that um, if other websites um, want to use your image, then they have to point to you because you are the source of, of this um, original infographic that you've created with, uh, which summarizes the info of um, different flats and, and the prices and people can just use this, this image that you have created to compare the prices. So that is one way is to create infographics, to, to find statistics and present them in, uh, in your own design, in your own format. And when other websites want to use your um, uh, infographic or your image, then they have to link to you. So that, that's okay. uh, one of the ways. And then um, uh, another way is, of course, to um, also collaborate with blogs, media companies, that are, are, are writing uh, blogs in, in your industry and um, that are ranking for a, a keyword that, that you want. And these are not your direct competitors because these are blogs and media companies who, who are um, advertising for, for other companies, right? So yep, that's yep. another way. So, so yeah, these okay. are just like the two of the 11 link building methods. Yeah. So, so what are the things that you should not do so we've talked about some of the things that you need to make sure you do. What are some of the things you should not do for this, for, for, for SEO? So the very first thing you should not do that a lot of websites do is they write content without doing their keyword research at all or without doing their keyword research correctly. And then uh, it's like what I tell people is it's like getting into a car without an end destination in mind. You're going to go around in circles. You're not going to know, like, like, um, are you moving towards that? How do you improve? Like, you, you can't figure anything out. Um, and the second thing to not do is to um, get backlinks, like to, to buy backlinks from um, some of these freelance platforms where they sell you 100 or 1,000 backlinks and then they say, oh, we'll get you 100 uh, backlinks for like five dollars or ten dollars or you know you know something like that, and um, many of these uh, bulk backlink uh, selling services, they don't understand the fundamental principle of SEO. And if and another thing to to think about here is if someone is selling you this quantity of backlinks at a small at a fraction of a price, then what kind of quality can you expect from yeah. these backlinks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it. Okay. Good. So very interesting. Um, so, so 
do you have do you have a free gift that you'd like to offer our listeners here? Absolutely. So the the whole five step process I talked to you through, I have that in a detailed checklist format on my website seowithsentil.com. So okay. S E N T H I L for London. So seowithsentil.com. They can go there. They can access my five step SEO checklist and they can get started on their search engine optimization right away. And, and of course, if, if they need um, some uh, additional guidance, personal guidance from me, then they can even book a free one-on-one SEO evaluation call with me later on. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. And, and is that the best way to get in touch with you is through, is through uh, the, your website or, or is there yeah. another way that you prefer? I, I, think, I think the be- best way is to, to get the five-step uh, SEO checklist and then I, I send them emails as well. But um, of course, I'm also active on social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, it's just my name. So Facebook, it's just Santil Kumar. And then LinkedIn, um, it's also uh, my name, Santil Kumar. Uh, my full name is rather long, Santil Kumar Subramanian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thanks. And, and that concludes our show. Uh, thanks so much to my guest, Santil Kumar, the founder of SEO with Santil. I hope you learned something about how to get your website found on Google page one. I know I did. Thanks for listening. Thank Thank you so much for having me, Steve. I enjoy it myself too. You've been listening to the Profit Minds podcast. This is your host, Dr. Stephen Kirch. Please visit www.profitminds.net for other episodes or to contact me. Thank you for your positive feedback, comments, questions, and for sharing this show with others. Thanks for listening. Have a grateful day.